After a long time, India has managed to pick a very beautiful, pleasant and decent squad for the Asia Cup. And from there, we can infer what is the squad that is going to be for the World Cup as well. There are two to three disappointments which we will cover in the entire video. This is Manshi here. Welcome. Let's get started. So this is the squad that they have picked for Asia Cup. And what we'll start trying to do is, let's put the playing 11 first and then fill in the players who have been brought in as backups and understand what their role is and what the thought process for India is. First, this is the playing 11. I just believe that Rohit would go for the experienced Shami, Tansi Raj and Thakur. Probably he's delivering with bat and ball, so I'm just having him over there. Apart from that, I think no more arguments, debates. So Ishan at the top as a backup openers and then in case a wicket keeping is needed, he comes into the middle order that is it again to be watched in the later part. But that is for now. Sky middle order batter and then I'm fitting in Aksar as a replacement for Jaddu. I'm having Siraj as a pace bowling replacement. So this is the squad. That is the squad that India is having in mind for the World Cup as well. So have this in mind and let's cover the other bases that India have for Asia Cup. They have brought in Tilak Varma as a replacement in case if it is needed for Shreya Sayo. And Sanju Samson is travelling as a backup cover because if KL is not going to be available for the first game, it's okay, they'll manage with Ishan. But it, if it is getting worse, then I think Sanju might come into picture. And apart from that, they also have uh, Prashit Krishna, I believe. So this is what the extra additions that they have. I'm really sorry if I have missed one or two names, but that doesn't really matter. Coming into here, again, the three things that I felt that was missing in the squad is obviously the cries of fans of missing uh, Bhuvneshwar Kumar, Shikhar Dhawan is absolutely there. But we have to move on from there. Let's understand the original real weakness that I felt this squad has. Number one, there is no off spinner in this squad. I mean, off spinners, you should never underestimate our off spinners. I don't remember Mahendra Singh Dhoni's winning squad without a decent off spinner in it. So, off spinner's significance is always there in the game. And um, Rohit Sharma at the press said that he tried something but couldn't fit in Ash, couldn't fit in uh, Washi and all those things. But no off spinner is a serious threat that India have. When you play against the top teams in the World Cup, England, Australia, they have a lot of left-handers at the top. You don't have an off-spinner to counter-attack them. Number two, the explosion of Chahal for me was justified considering whatever Rohit had to say and considering the balance and everything. But I just really felt that Chahal should have been at least in the reserves category. If something happens to Kuldeep, some injury, I think you need to have a kind of light to right replacement. Chahal is the only player who is probably in the spin department going to give you wickets in the middle as well. So I think that was a missing and finally there was no left arm pacer in the squad whatsoever. I understand it's not kind of possible with Bumbara, Shami and then of course Siraj. But instead of Prashit who's coming off from an injury, I think Ashdeep's inclusion might have made a bit of difference. But apart from that, I think all the bases are covered. India have picked a very decent squad. I'm really happy that Hardik Pandya was appointed as vice captain it again. I mean, Bumrah, I'm not judging him, but it's just that Hardik handled the captaincy for last one year. So it's just better that Hardik was over there. Leave in your thoughts overall about this Asia Cup and potential World Cup squad when she's signing off.